Hey guys, so I've been sitting around kind of bored this weekend and I've been making my way through a lot of Amazon Prime movies that are included and free with the you know subscription. And I couldn't help but notice how many bad movies are on there. And me personally, I'm a fan of some of your least popular titles of movies. And most of the time I will go ahead and click on a movie and watch it uh, without reading the description of the movie. And sometimes when you read the description, it just doesn't do the movie justice. And sometimes the title or the cover of the movie doesn't do the movie justice. We've all seen the movies out there where the movie poster or the title theme doesn't really say what's in the movie. And sometimes it makes the movie look like it's a higher quality than what it really is. Some of these movies, and the ones I'm going to share with you here in just a moment, they're really terrible, and you know it by looking at it, and if you go in and read the description, which is what I'm going to do for you, you realize it really is just as bad as it is, it, as, it really is just as bad as it looks, is what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm going to try and do this video without having to edit anything out, so good luck. Maybe, uh, maybe you'll be able to understand the words I say. <sighs> Anyhow, first movie up is Bloody Bloody Bible Camp. <clears throat> a group of young, hot, and horny campers head to Happy Day Bible Camp for a fun-filled weekend, but a sadistic and crazy nun with a penchant for gory violence has other plans as she cleanses the sinners in her own unholy ways. Yeah, that, that doesn't sound fun to watch. Not one bit. Um, let's see here, the next one. The Giant Spider. When radiation left behind by atomic weapons, te uh, weapons testing creates a gigantic killer mutant arachnid, it's up to a trio of scientists, an army general, a newspaper reporter, and his fiancée to figure out how to stop the hungry beast from devouring the entire country. Yeah, that sounds like every creature feature. Uh, let's see here. Deadheads. Deadheads is a zombie that is sure to impress, pleasing both horror and action-adventure fans alike. Yep, you heard it first. Horror meets comedy meets action-adventure. Deadheads is a return to the great comedy action-adventure films of the 80s like Back to the Future and The Goonies. How do you compare any movie with The Goonies? Or, uh, you know, going back to the future, that's... That's just something crazy. Um, I'm sorry. Inhuman Witch. Following a radioactive accident in outer space, an astronaut is transformed into a sentient blob of meat who devours everything and everyone in its path. Yeah, no one's watching that. Um, see here. Here's one I have seen. It's pretty good. Night of the Living Deb. After a girl's night out, endearingly awkward Deb wakes up in the apartment of a petty boy Ryan. Petty. <clears throat> Pretty boy Ryan, only to be ushered out the door and into a full-scale zombie apocalypse. Now the mismatched pair must fight for survival and discover that the only thing scarier than trusting someone with your life is trusting them with your heart. Okay, that's just weird. Um, let's see here. Funland. When a mob family takes over an amusement park after the owner dies under mysterious circumstances, the recently fired clown mascot seeks vengeance for the loss of his job. Okay, that just sounds weird. Um, here, here's one. Again, I have seen this one. I think it's amazing. It's one of the best zombie comedies I've ever seen. Um, it's called Ah, Zombies! Uh, turning the zombie film on its head, this film is an oddball comedy from the perspective of the brain-munching monsters themselves. So, um, let's just say it's, it's going to be a crazy weekend. And if you're on Amazon Prime, I, I suggest watching Ah! Zombies. It, it's actually pretty good. Anyhow, see ya!